Well, here it is, Daniel. You wanted it, and you're, you're going to get it. This is my Merc Order Construction Site Settlement Tour. Uh, this is an unfinished settlement, but I wanted to show off some of my ideas. And here's Kate rounding the corner coming around. Now, you look at that wall, and I use the raised platform floors with the little stilts. And I think they look good, and they are especially useful in a place like this where there's a lot of water. Uh, they just look better. On each side, here are some guard posts I constructed on each side of this gate. And I did those for tutorial for, for another video, a build tutorial. Coming in, uh, I, might, I thought it'd be cool to use the marquee signs to put an arrow to point toward some of my stores, which I have over there, a, a general store and a clinic. But maybe I'm not going to go into those uh, just a second. I'd like to go up and sort of show these towers and uh, you know, some of what I have here. Put a little rooftop garden there and... Uh, I built this little tower, and I really like it. Uh, this is a little kind of a guard tower, guard post, and it, I think it's placed well, so it has a good view of, uh, of, of Boston, uh, of Quincy, and of the GNR Plaza, if you, if you look over to the west. I like it. It's got a little bed in it, and I used... Uh, per, everything I use in that I tower is, is, is stuff us. in a normal game. This is another one I used with the Sandbag of Fortifications mod, uh, and I put a little put a little spotlight on it and that, that looks really good at night and here you can see one of my provisioners coming in huh? now this is the sort of that that skeleton of a structure i i built a using the warehouse set i built a uh, small building to cover it and i rug glitched it in a place it's not perfect but i think it's pretty close and it looks all right i think and i i, I set these floors out here sort of overlooking this central pond in the settlement and overall, I'm pretty proud of it. And I laid these. These are the walkways, the sort of shack walkways. And I laid these out to almost look like a pier. I put this lantern here, and it looks pretty good at night. And this goes up to my first store, my armor store, Mia Moore. A simple store. I don't actually have any merchant in it yet. This settlement's unfinished. I only have six six settlers altogether. Two are farmers, two are guards, one's a provisioner, and one is a scavenger. And if you follow this little pier... Uh, coming here toward the west it's going to go right up into my bar i thought this was important to build just for settler happiness and i put a few tables out here and chairs with umbrellas and a one little plant uh, as well as a lot of lights it, it looks a lot better at night and especially since this settlement is so dark it, it rains more often than not so the settlement is very dark and you really do need lights if you want to see anything this is the southwest corner uh of the settlement and i just put a little uh Put a little building here, a, a single single bed unit with a desk and a and a chair. I really did this just to build a wall in that corner. I like to wall off my settlements. I know you really don't need to from a gameplay perspective, but I, I really prefer to. Uh, it's something you'd want to do from a role playing perspective. Yes. It it would really prevent a lot of a lot of uh, attackers from getting in. Now this isn't finished. Maybe on this uh, on the south wall, I may add in my clothing store, which I haven't yet built, and probably some more barracks. And this the open space around that destroyed house is probably going to be mostly uh, crops. I'm going to probably plant some moot fruit. Here's my gun store. Uh, I find those neon lights are very simple, but they're very effective, and they draw the eye. And this is kind of a high up wall here. This is built on a concrete uh, floor section, so it raises it up quite a bit. And when I add that wooden railing, it uh, it, it that would definitely be an effective wall. Going around in the back, I used one of the train car, one of the box car sections. To sort of put in my my weapons workbench and a chair and a light, it seems like a nice little shed off behind the gun store where you could work on things, uh, where the guy who sells the guns could work on things and repair weapons that he's going to sell. And that uh, that that little part of the the wall just just snapped right in, uh, and actually bonded with the with the box car, so that looks pretty good, I think. This is my barracks. I wanted to add some light in the front just so you could see it because it's so with the rain like it is now, it's so dark in this settlement. This is pretty simple, just some beds, a couch. I like to put radios to give the settlement a little bit of life. Uh, and it's a little stove and some more beds. And I just want to put enough light in here to sort of make it, uh, you know, make it friendly looking. Coming around, I have my Bunker Hill Caravan stopping point. Um, I'll, I'll probably reinforce that and make it something a little bit better. And here's where I put in my my uh, my water purifiers. I could have put them in the central pond, but I wanted to leave that pond very open, because it is a centerpiece for the settlement. I didn't want to 
sort of block my views with those. I let in my fusion generator here. And it's covered, and I may try to reinforce that building as well. They're just coming up. I'm, I'm really happy at how these towers turned out. They're not the tallest towers, but I do think they actually look pretty good. And when you get back, it's like a nice little, nice little bastion on each side of that gate. Uh, it would make trying to take that front gate somewhat difficult. And there is a machine gun turret on the other side of the of the western tower. And if you were going into settlement, you'd see the sail sign, the marquee uh, sign with the pointing, and you, you it, it would kind of lead you right into the general store and the clinic, as well as the open sign. It's pretty inviting. Uh, with with this rain, this is this really is one of the more depressing settlements, being that it's a swamp and it rains all the time. And there is some stuff that you, you, you can't scrap. I wish you could scrap that destroyed building in the forklift. But this is a pretty simple clinic. I haven't really done much to it. Uh, I want to wait till I get settlers. I don't have anybody to work these, the store, the clinic, or anything. I only have six people at the time I'm recording this. So as I get more people, hopefully up to 22, I'm definitely going to need to to actually plant crops to give them jobs and maybe make a few more uh, defensive areas. But uh, I'm overall, I'm pretty happy with the direction it's going in. It's a lot better than my first playthrough when I, when I built this settlement. And it's had kind of this little porch out here. You could figure you could st stand on it and look out over the settlement and be depressed with all the uh, trees with no leaves. But going around this side, I, th I, th I think it all looks pretty good. I have my little fire, and I wanted to cover it. I wish I could get that a little bit lower, but I, I just wasn't able to get the overhead any lower. And there's probably a nice little beef stew going on in that pot. And this is how close the water is in the settlement. It is completely ridiculous. But, uh... I, I did have to build a lot of covered structures just to make it... You had to get it out of the rain. But I, I am really happy with this. You can see it didn't snap over the... Sort of the frame completely. But I still think it looks pretty good. I'm going to try to get up here. And, uh... I know I make it because I, I'm voicing over after I recorded it. So I know I'm going to get on top of this building. But I was surprised it did it first try. And you can see this... This settlement really isn't good for much. It really is in the middle of a swamp in the middle of nowhere. Uh, the only thing it'd be good for is maybe a, a combat outpost so I could launch attacks on GNR Plaza to the west and to Quincy uh, to the east. But overall, I do want to keep that pond open and on its own because I, I do think it looks overall pretty good. I mean, I, I, I really like it a lot. But, uh... And I think those little those little catwalks, those settlement catwalks, make make very nice. Uh, I guess docks you'd call them walkways. I'm not sure. Right there, I'm probably gonna lay in a uh, a clothing store. And all around this destroyed house is probably gonna be crops. And I may make that destroyed house a Brahmin pen. I'm not really exactly sure what I'm gonna do with it. Uh, I wish I could scrap it because I think it looks doesn't look very good. And I'm probably gonna reinforce that that uh that that Bunker Hill caravan stopping point and maybe fence in. The water purifiers, I'm, I'm not really sure. I haven't thought about it too much. As I'm just building the settlement, really I'm waiting for settlers, so... Uh, I need to plant more crops. I just want to do some on the rooftop just to get them out of the way. Because uh, it, it's hard to find find anything with the Hi, with this settlement. You? There's all these cattails, and it's hard to plant in those. I mean, you can plant in them easy, but you, you can't find your settlers when you need them. And overall, it's, uh, it's tough. But I like the way she looks. I, I want to give her a good set of armor with a helmet and goggles and... and that's actually a night vision scope on her institute rifle. And this is an institute rifle settlement. I want to arm everyone here, as I've been doing with all my settlements, giving everybody common weapons. One weapon for the whole settlement, one type of weapon, one type of ammunition. And this is going to be an institute rifle settlement. And let me fix this uh, spotlight, and you'll see how kind of how I think it does look pretty good. Uh, especially you have something so close like these trees, it really lights them up. And it, it, it looks, looks good at night. It looks okay in the daytime, too, and it's raining uh, like this. But overall, I'm, 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 I'm happy, you, that, you know, with the way this is going. I thought it would go worse, but it's it's going better than expected. It's looking a lot better than I thought it would look. Then with these guards, I do want to give them all, like, actual combat helmets or army helmets or, uh, you know, maybe Diamond City Guard helmets. I want to make them look like they're well defended because they're going to be the primary fighters, uh, first line of defense of the settlement, so...
I think the you know when you actually plant your gardens in and your crops, it, it does add a splash of color to this otherwise very gray, very depressing area. Uh, I built this settlement just to do a tutorial, and uh, I hope it turns out well. This isn't anything I really planned to do. I, I picked this because it was the least depressing area left, uh, which says a lot for at least the way I think about the other settlement locations. But thank you for watching, and goodbye.